All right, students, you're welcome once again to my channel. My name is Madwako Emmanuel, your favorite math teacher. We are continuing with the YX series, and today we shall be looking at the question 12 of the 2019 YX examination. So quickly, let's go to the board. Question 12 says, the A part, given that sine y equal to 8 over 17, find the value of tan y over 1 plus 2 tan y. Let's quickly see the solution. Now, in this question, we are going to be applying the Pythagoras theory. I'm sure you remember your Pythagoras theory. Alright. To apply Pythagoras theory, remember it only applies to right angle, triangle. What is sine? Remember in one of our previous videos, I wrote something like this. So, Katua. I said for you to remember easily. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and your opposite is the side facing the angle. So we are giving what? Y. The side facing Y will be my opposite. The opposite is what? 8. The side facing the right angle triangle is your hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is what? 17. Now I'm going to apply Pythagoras theorem to get what the side is. Why am I getting this side? Because I'm seeing tan Y here, and I know that tan is what? Opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. So I need to get this side. So let's call this side x. Now by Pythagoras theory, your hypotenuse squared, 17 squared, will be equal to opposite squared plus what? Adjacent squared. So that will be having my x squared to be equal to 17 squared minus what? 8 squared. So that my x squared will be equal to what is 17 squared? Punch your calculator. 17 squared. 289 minus 8 squared is what? 64. So that my x squared will be equal to 289 minus 64. I have what? 225. So to get x, I'll take the square root of 225. If you take the square root, you'll be having what? 15. So we've gotten this side as what? 15. Now let's get what, what will be tan y. My tan y will be equal to what? From soccer to a tan is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is what? 8. All over adjacent is what? 15. So I've gotten tan y. I've gotten the numerator here. Now let's get our denominator. 1 plus 2 tan y will be equal to 1 plus 2 times. Our tan y is 8 over 15. This will give me 1 plus 2 times 8 is what? 16 over 15. This is the same as what? Over 1. So take the LCM. So 1 plus 2 times y will be equal to the LCM will be 15. 1 in 15 is 15. 15 times 1 is 15. Plus 15 and 15 is 1 times 16 is 16. So this will give me 31 over 15. So we've gotten our denominator. Now we'll now apply both of them to get the value of this. So we are having what? Tan y all over 1 plus 2 tan y will be equal to tan y is what? 8 over 15 divided by 1 plus 2 tan y is what we have here as what? 31 over 15. So that this will give me 8 over 15. When division changes to multiplication, your numerator goes down and your denominator comes up. So 15 over 31. So that 15, we cancel 15. We'll be having our final answer. As what? 8 over 31. Alright, so that's the A part of the question. Quickly, we'll be seeing what the B part of the question is asking us to do. Alright, so then the B part of the question says, An amount of 300,000 naira was shared among Otobo, Ada and Adiola. Otobo received 60,000. Ada received 5 over 12 of the remainder. While the rest went to Adiola, in what ratio was it shared? All right, quickly. Let me divide my body into two for want of space. All right, now this amount, total amount. Total amount is what? 300,000. The question says, Otobo received 60,000. Otobo's share is what? 60,000. So let's get the balance after Otobu collected 60. 
balance after Octobos share will be equal to the total amount, which is 300 minus Octobos share, which is what? 60,000. And that will give me what? 300 minus 60 will give me 240. 240,000. So after they removed the Octobos share of 60,000, they still had 240,000. The next question, the next information says Ada received 5 over 12 of the remainder. Now, Ada's share. Ada's share is equal to 5 over 12 of in mathematics is what? Times. Times the remainder is what? 240. 240,000. So if we, let's work this out. 12 in 24 is 2. So I have 20,000 here. Multiply by 5. That will give me what? 100,000. So this was Ada's share. And they said what? While the rest went to Adeola. So Adeola's share... And your last share will be equal to what? Remember, when Otobo took out 60,000, we had 240 left. So Ada now took 100 out of 240. So Ada took the remaining. So Ada last share will be 240,000 minus Ada's share of 100,000. And this will give me what? 140,000. All right, so we've gotten everybody's amount now. The question now says we should do what? In what ratio was it shared? So in what ratio we will be doing Otobo to Ada to Adeola? Let's get the ratio now. What's Otobo's share? 60. 60,000 ratio. Ada's share is what? 100,000 ratio. Adeola's share is what? 140,000. So let's simplify this. Let's the thousands go. The three zero, three zero. So I'm having sixty ratio, hundred ratio, one forty. We can still simplify this. One one zero can still go. I have six ratio ten, ratio fourteen. What else can go? All of them. There are uh, two can go into all of them. They are even numbers. So two in six is what three. Two in ten is what five. Two in fourteen is what seven. So these are the ratio. We cannot simplify further than this. So these are the ratios that they shared this 300,000 naira. All right, students, um, this is the conclusion of this YX series. The last question is the question 13. I want you to look at it. I want you to solve it. If you are having any challenge in the comment section of this video, you can just drop your comments there. And I wish you success in your Monday's examination. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because our videos will still go ahead. Remember, after YEC, there will be a NECO exam. I will still continue with some past questions so that we will be well prepared for the NECO examinations. And uh, don't forget to leave your notifications on so that you always be informed when a new video drops. I celebrate you.